everybody. Today we are going to be drawing a cat in the style of artist Paul Clay. Paul Clay is known for being kind of a cubist artist because his works would be broken into different shapes. We are going to start our cat by making a nice big circle on our paper. So I want you to notice that I have left some space up at the top, but a bit more space down at the bottom. This is where we will put our body, but we wanna make sure that we are still going to leave room for the ears as well. If your head shape is not quite a perfect circle, that's okay, it doesn't need to be. If it's a bit more oval-ish, that's fine. The next thing that we're going to do is from this circle, we're gonna pull down two lines. So I'm gonna come here and pull down all the way to the bottom of my paper. And I am gonna do the same thing over here, all the way to the bottom of my paper. From there, I'm gonna jump up to the top of our cat's head and I'm gonna make two triangles. This one I'm making just by drawing the lines. If you are a friend who has a bit of a challenging time with triangles, another trick you can do is draw a dot. From the dot, come back to the head and back to the head and you still get a nice pointy triangle shape for an ear. The next part that I am going to do is right in the middle of this face, I am gonna draw a straight line. Not all the way across, just kind of a line segment. Below that, I am going to draw a dot. Then I'm gonna connect the ends of that line segment to the dot to make a nice triangle nose. From the bottom of that triangle, because it's kind of pointing down, I'm gonna pull a line and it's not going, it's not gonna come all the way down to the chin. We're going to leave some space. Then I am going to slant back, slant down, and now we have kind of a nose and a mouth for our cat. I am also from either side, I'm not gonna go right up from the middle, but kind of towards one side or the other on our cat's nose on the top, I'm gonna make a line that goes straight up and down through the rest of the circle. Because in Paul Clay's work, he would have lines kind of crossing out and breaking his artwork up into sections. And so we're gonna be doing the same thing with our cat. Next, our cat is going to need a pair of eyes. I like making mine different using different shapes. So I am going to start by maybe having a decent sized circle. And then maybe on this side, I am going to add a square. And it's up to you on which shape you want to use. And then inside my circle, I'm going to add a triangle. And inside of my square, I'm gonna add kind of an oval. So it's a little bit stretched out this way. So it's not fully a circle. From here, I'm gonna jump down and we're gonna make a collar for our cat. Then from the collar, I'm gonna pull a line down. So again, from one side or the other, I don't want it perfectly in the middle. If you really want yours perfectly in the middle, that's okay, it can be. And then I'm gonna pull another line out to the side. Again, this is just breaking up our space into different shapes. 
What I normally ask students to do next is we are going to add a pattern or a design inside of our collar. And this is really up to you. If you want to make a shape pattern, that's fine. If you want to draw like a zigzag line pattern in the collar, that's fine too. That is really going to be your choice, but it would be nice to see kind of just a little bit of extra detail in your work inside the collar. Some friends also choose to add a tag that hangs down because some pets have those. And you can make this a square, a triangle, whatever makes you happy. The last kind of set of lines that we are going to be drawing is some whiskers. And these whiskers, I'm gonna make them go all the way out to the edge of my paper. And I'm gonna draw three of those. So one, two, three. And then, and I find it easier to turn my paper. I'm going to draw one, two, three, all the way out to the very edge of my paper. So at this point, I have a pretty cool cat drawn. One thing that if you are working on this at home, what you might want to do is take a marker and trace over all of your pencil lines. Um, I use a Sharpie to draw mine just so that you can see the lines better. But if you can trace with a Sharpie, just make sure that you put an extra paper underneath your art and trace these lines so that they stand out nicely compared to what we're going to be using to color. For coloring in our artwork, we are gonna be talking a little bit about cool colors. And cool colors are blue, green, and violet or purple. So these are our three cool colors. And they remind us of water or a rainy day or just being cooler. So our cat is going to be cool and those both start with the letter C. So inside my cat, I am only going to use these three colors. I am looking for you to demonstrate an understanding of cool colors. So I want you to pick out your cool colors and these are the colors that you're going to use on your cat. I like to pick, have them be different sections and different colors in different parts. So for example, this would be one color. This would be a different color. So I am gonna color my work and then I am going to check back in in a minute. At this point, I have finished coloring my cat, and I want you to notice that in every section, I only used one color. So here, I used all purple or violet because that was one shade. Then when I hit this line, I switched colors to a different cool color. Once I had finished coloring in my entire cat, I used a different kind of a color for the background. So I actually used an orange, which would be considered a warm color. So my cat is demonstrating that I understand what cool colors are because I only used those inside my cat. I chose to leave this part of the eyes white. You can color those in if you would like to. That's not a problem. So I hope you enjoyed following along and creating a cool cat in the style of the artist Paul Clay. See you next time, everybody. Bye.